What's going on, guys? Um, remember a while back when I said I was going to give you a walkthrough of the FMouse software? Well, this is it, so stay tuned. What's up, guys? Buck here once again from Buck GT, and I'm going to give you a little tutorial of the FMouse software that will help you customize your F300 RGB gaming mouse should you choose to get one. Thanks for joining me once again. Like I said, I wanted to do a tutorial and kind of exploration of the FMouse software. So anybody that decided to purchase one from watching my video uh, can know what they're getting into, I guess. First off, you're going to want to go to fmouse.com and unless you're fluent in Chinese, you want to click the English up at the top and then you're going to go to support and download. And this is where you're going to find the drivers for the mouse and the Ocelot G200 software drivers. And you got your um, F mouse F300 and Ocelot. Uh, those will download as RAR files in which you just use uh, WinRAR and extract those. Since I've already got them downloaded, I'm not going to worry about that. This is what the program looks like once it's booted up. Now, this will be running in the background at all times. So, real quick, you got your button settings, LED settings, micromanager, DPI settings, and advanced settings. Now, the advanced settings, I'm just going to I'm going to start at the back then go to the front again, but the advanced settings are basically your windows settings. You got your how fast your uh, double click works your pointer your windows pointer speed as well as the enhanced pointer precision one thing that's not on windows i believe is this usb polling rate which actually is how fast the computer communicates with the mouse so let's keep let's put that a thousand out which i believe a thousand is uh one millisecond uh 500 is two milliseconds and 125 is actually eight milliseconds and then below that you have your scroll wheel speed which is how fast you scroll through a page, whether you didn't want to do one, two, three lines at a time, or it actually has this option here. If you check that, you'll skip entire pages. It's kind of like page up and down, but with your scroll wheel. After that, I'll show you the uh, micro manager, um, my, micro manager, ha. Um, macro manager. Really, all the names are really just gibberish. You can make, make the names whatever you want whenever you do make a macro, but I'm not that familiar with them, but as with most macros, you can start record and it'll record what you do. You left click here, wait a few seconds, right click here, stuff like that. So these are all your default options for that. And where those come in is actually in the button settings. On the button settings, you have nine programmable buttons on the mouse. You've got, you've got your middle click, your Internet Explorer forward and back. Then you've got your left and right click. Then actually it counts the uh, DPI and LEDs as buttons as well. And then forward and back scroll. So you can actually change these to whatever you want. So since I don't use the Internet Explorer forward and back, I'll check those and um, you can assign one of the macros that you have created from the drop down box. You have it repeat however much the macro set for until or until you hit a button to end you also uh, have it just repeat as you hold it and you can also have windows programs calculator your default email websites um, you can actually switch these to your me, you can actually switch these to your dpi cycle like the main top button has multimedia you can switch your mouse to control your media player play pause stop uh skip track backtrack whatever pretty much so on and so forth pretty much everything the mouse does you can put it on any of the buttons and as well as assign specific programs so if you play wow a lot you can hit uh, connect the wow um, connect the wow shortcut and stuff like that so I'm just going to leave these alone for now, and then we're going to go over to the DPI settings. Now, this is one cool thing I thought the mouse had. Um, this DPI button, 
can actually control between five different speeds. And what sets this apart from the rest of the mice is you can set each one of these speeds to whatever you want from 250 to 4,000 each. I mean, if you want them all set to 4,000, you can do that. Just click, click it up and there, they're all 4,000. I'm probably not gonna like this. Yeah, it's too fast. So I'm gonna set that back to default here. All right, and um, last but not least, you have your LED settings. Now, the LED has four different settings. Um, first is, I believe it's supposed to say standard, but the program says star dand mode. And you can, this is where you can set a static color to each, or you can set a static color to, for the mouse to be on, whether um, if it's uh, selected for pulsation, for pulsation, it'll be slow, medium, fast, or custom speed. And that'll look like this. And just pulse that color. And I'll switch it to green. And usually it'll kind of flash a solid color and then go back if um, whenever it's changing. Or you can set just a static color, no pulsing, and you can set how intense the light is out of three settings, low, middle, or high. The next we have the neon mode. Now neon mode actually breathes through a cycle of all the colors. It doesn't show any colors at the same time, but it'll kind of pulse up a color, or you kind of like cycle through them. It doesn't really go away. Um, so you can set it on fast. It'll look like this. You know, middle is probably one of the best uh, speeds for it. You see how it kind of went solid and it's just kind of going through each of them. I really like that one. And then after that, you have ripple mode. This kind of just cycles through the colors in the ring around the mouse. Um, now let's keep it on the current settings from, from top, from bottom up, which I believe is the back up and then, and then, uh, middle pulsation speed. Now you see this one, it kind of starts from the back here and works its way up, which is really cool. And then if you say from top to bottom, you know, go solid and then you know, work its way back. And then lastly, you have color cycle. And this will just kind of go through each each color. It'll, you know, turn on, go bright, then go off, on, bright, like so, so on and so forth. So I'll let you see that one. See, it just kind of pulses and breathes through each color. So I'm gonna set it back to neon, which is my favorite. There we go. Well, I hope that helps shed some light on whether or not you were going to buy this mouse or not, depending on the software. So that's all I've got for now. Go ahead and throw this video a like if you liked it. Let me know what you thought down in the comments below. If you haven't yet, click that subscribe button so you can see what I got coming out in the future. As always, I'm available on all social media. Links down in the description. And I'll see you all in the next video.